Hello everyone, welcome to my lightweight weapons tutorial in Unity. The only real prerequisite is that you have an attack animation set up for your character, but for me, I kind of just have an empty attack animation, so I'm going to show you how it would look if you would set it up for right now. As you can see, I have a way to get to my attacking animation, which is this transition right here, is attacking is true. I have a way to exit, which is if is attacking is false, and this other condition is met. You can have just is attacking false or whatever you would like, set up your animator uh, in a way that fits you. What's important is you have an is attacking parameter in your animator along with a last horizontal and last vertical. These will be used to get the direction of your attack. Now if you want to set these without writing any code yourself, I'd highly recommend using my player anim controller. Even if you're using a different movement system, this will work in accordance with it. Make sure this is set up unless you want to set these values by hand or if you already have something. We need to create an empty child of our player called weapon. We want to tag it as weapon as well and we can create a collider here. I'm going to show you my collider. It goes about around the player, radius 0.7, you can have it set to whatever you want. And we are going to add our weapon script here. We want use light mode to be set for our lightweight weapon system and we can set the power of our weapon uh, if it's a projectile or not set a projectile here and we can set the attack offset this is basically the range of your attack so it will be one and this offset will be used to compute or how far away uh, the weapon should be depending on what direction your character is facing additionally we want to return to our player go to the animator go to our attacking state and add in player attack behavior. We want use light mode to be checked and we'll get into use mouse later. Right now let's press play. Let's go to the scene view, look at our player. As you can see, the collider is turned on whenever we attack and it moves. Next we wanna be able to attack something. We can go to whatever enemy you would like to have. You want to make sure your enemy is tagged as enemy and you want to add a script to it called health. You can add a maximum capacity and the health will go to fill that which will be how many hits you have until you can slay this enemy. Now let's approach the enemy. And we were easily able to slay the enemy. Now if we want to set up projectiles we can go to our weapon we can turn on is projectile weapon and we will need to have a projectile in our scene set up. I have set up an arrow which has a sprite, a collider, a rigid body, and we also need to add a new component to it called move projectile. We are going to turn on use light mode. This way it will animate automatically. This feature is also compatible if you're using the old system and don't want to animate the rotation on your arrows as well. We are going to give it a pretty good speed. Let's do about four. We're going to press save. We are going to disable the view for this. We are going to go to our weapon. We are going to select our arrow as the component. And now the arrow will fire in the last direction we were facing and will automatically rotate to the appropriate direction. You can also change the power to zero if you only want the projectile to deal damage and you can set the power of the projectile and move projectile. There is now a toggle in player attack behavior for use mouse. This is relevant only for projectiles so you can move your character around. As you can see the attack is dependent on the location of the mouse and we are able to slay enemies. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I can't wait to see your game.